Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do a gradient using the ramp effect on After Effects. Uh, it's going to look a little bit like this. Um, this is a radial effect, a radial gradient, but you can use a linear gradient if you want. Anyway, let's uh, jump right in. So this is my halo type thing. I know it's pretty crappily drawn. Don't judge me, I drew it in about 4 seconds. I didn't really know what to put a gradient on. Whatever. Okay, go to your effects and presets panel and type in ramp. Go ahead and drag it onto your layer. And it'll instantly be covered in a grayish color because it's preset to black and white. Go to your first uh, start color and put it whatever color you want. I'm going to put a uh, sort of a dark blue. Alright, um, go to your second color. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose a similar color, more of a light. Uh, so I guess that's kind of green. More of a lighter blue. Um, you can change these whenever, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, you click the little crosshair, and you can point wherever on your image you want your color to be. And you can click the other crosshair and put where your other color is. Right now it's a linear ramp, so you'll see that it goes from one color to another. But I'm going to switch to radial. That way uh, it kind of makes a circle with uh, the starting color. The starting color will be the inside will be the inside color, and then the ending color will obviously be the outside color. Uh, if you switch that up, it's not too hard to switch them. Anyway, uh, that's how you make a gradient. Yeah, If you go over here to your ramp scatter, then you can uh, choose if, how much uh, scatter you want on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and show you what the scatter patterns look like. It, it kind of looks a little bit more pixelized. I don't know why you would want to use scatter. I guess it makes it a little bit more random, but uh, I don't know. I'm not using it for this. Uh, I just go ahead and turn scatter off or make it zero. Um, of course you can go to the blend with original option which is pretty straightforward it blends your gradient or your ramp in with your original picture which mine was just that dark blue so not too much of a difference on mine anyway all these things are keyframes so keep that in so if you want to change anything during the course of the video you can do that anyway that's a helpful little effect I hope this helped you guys out with your future projects and thank you for watching